always find themselves saying things like, I wish somebody would make fill in the blank, you know, or gosh, this product would be great if only, if only someone would do such and such to it. You know, I've said the same thing many times myself, but, but once in a while I'll catch myself and I'll say, well, why don't I make it? And that's, that's exactly how, how Southern Blues got started. I can't really talk about Southern Blues without first talking about my primary business, which is Visual Sound. It was a company I started back in 95, uh, out of my own need. I was a guitar player, and I needed a volume pedal, of all things, that had a, a 0 to 10 reference on it. And nobody made one, I couldn't believe it. So I started hitting the books, going to libraries, you know, before the internet, studying up and experimenting, and finally, you know, came out with this at the beginning of 1995, Visual Volume Pedal. and. Uh, found out that it solved not only my need, but you know, the needs of a lot of other guitar players as well. But the reason I mention that is, is because it's real similar to the way that Southern Blues got started, out of my own need. I was wearing cargo pants all the time because I wanted to get the, the wallet out of my back pocket. Uh, my chiropractor years ago had said, you know, stop sitting on your wallet, Bob, it's, it's bad for your back. And uh, so I'd wear cargo pants and keep my wallet and my phone there. And, um, and that was great, but I, I got to miss in my jeans. And I searched all over the place. Nobody made blue jeans, like real regular blue jeans that had cargo pockets. And I thought, you know, this is one of those times where I need to say, hey, why don't I, why don't I make them? You know, how hard could it be? Well, it, it, it turns out it's actually pretty hard, but we, you know, we figured it out over time. A question I get a lot of times when I tell people about Southern Blues is, you know, Bob, what are you doing designing jeans? You, know, you, you design electronics for musicians. What are, what are you doing? How are you doing jeans? And you know, it's a valid question because it seems like kind of a stretch, but the thing is that this isn't my first rodeo in terms of starting a company, in terms of designing products. You know, I've been designing products for over 20 years now, and, and all the stuff that I learned over the years about mechanical engineering and manufacturing techniques totally applies to jeans. Uh, in fact, the tolerances or variations that I'm used to dealing with in electronics are in fractions of millimeters and thousandths of an inch. So when I found out with clothing, you're dealing with tolerances in inches, it really took a lot of getting used to for me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm much more exacting than that. For an example, I, I went to the mall the other day and went to a, a major denim retailer and uh, grabbed a couple of uh, 32 waist jeans off the, the same stack, identical jeans supposedly. Took them into the uh, dressing room and pulled out my measuring tape and one of them measured 36 and a half inches on the waist and the other one measured 34. Now, bear in mind, they were both labeled 32, but they weren't even close to that. So, um, anyhow, you're, you're not going to find that from Southern Blues. We're, we're going to be a lot closer uh, to the mark. You know, when you get a 32-inch waist jean from us, it's going to be 32. If you get a 38 jean from us, it's going to be 38. We've, we've even been working really hard at, at developing manufacturing techniques and quality control measures at the factory to, uh, to get things measured the right way the first time and every time. Next time you find yourself saying, gosh, I wish somebody would just make a product that did this, or if only this product you know, was, was designed to work a better way, stop yourself and think, well, maybe I'm the person that should do that. I know for myself, I, I've done that several times now, and it's worked out well. And uh, if I can do it, you can do it. It's kind of, kind of what the American dream is all about.